Alright, so after a very popular demand in my last video where I farmed 500 rockets, um, you should go watch that if you haven't. A lot of people wanted to see the base that I used um, in that because it ended up being like 30 rockets to raid and it was pretty much invincible for the start of wipe. So today I'm going to show you how to make it. Now this base is a 2x2 two two expansion base, which pretty much means that you're going to have your base 2x2 two two, and then you're going to expand off of it. So you just need the TC in either corner in the back end and it will end up working. And just so you guys know, it's going to take about 4,500 wood to get this base down and then 3,000 iron or stone, depending on what you use, to fully upgrade it all to that material. So to start off, wherever your airlock is, you're going to want to place two foundations next to that and then you're going to go ahead and you're going to wall that off. Um, and then you're going to finish that up by putting down a triangle to jump up up to the roof and then it should look something like this after that. So you're going to cover that up and then you're pretty much just going to make like another airlock up top here. So you're going to finish this off, put a, put a door there and then um, this is what you're, you're looking like right now. And your TC, it's going to be in this area here right on the left. So um, what you're going to want to do here is you're going to do pretty much the same thing you did on the front. You're going to go ahead and you're going to place down just like this. And you're going to go ahead and you're going to turn this into pretty much honeycomb like that. Except right here, you're going to go ahead and you're going to place down a half wall. And you're going to go up here and you're going to place down, if I can jump, you're going to place down a little wall like that. And then um, for now, this is just a placeholder, you'll remove this eventually, but just so you can get up here. Then you're going to go ahead and you're going to finish off and fill these in. Now pretty standard right now, but it's going to get a little bit more complicated um, because you're going to honeycomb everything that you just did. So you're going to start from this right side here, and you're just going to go around the entire base and uh, honeycomb it off. So you're going to do that, you're not going to want to honeycomb the part that you just did because that acts as honeycomb in of itself. So then you're going to obviously, you're going to go around and then you're just going to, you're going to place the walls here. So now when you're up here it should look something like this. You should have honeycomb around the entire thing. Um, this is like the honeycomb right here already. And then you're just going to go ahead and you're going to fill in all of, don't do that. You're going to go ahead and you're going to fill in all of these sections here. Now once that's done, you're going to start finishing up this layer. So you're going to go around and make sure to do the walls exactly like this. You're going to ignore that this triangle is here and you're going to place this here. And then you're just going to follow all the way around the entire base. Leave this one open here so you can jump up. But yeah, and then you're also just going to completely ignore that, pretend it's not there. So you should end up with something similar to this. You've got a hole right there and then this right here. And then you're just going to go ahead and use your triangles and fill up all of the areas that you just honeycombed. But make sure this one right here, right next to where you jump up, make sure that this stays open and instead you're going to keep that right there like that. Alright now while you're here it's important right away to just make sure you upgrade this um, to cobblestone or steel it's really up to you but it's gonna be hard to upgrade that one later on so you just want to make sure to upgrade it now and then you're gonna go ahead and you're gonna finish that off um, honeycombing that. So now what you want to do is you're gonna place a door here and pretty much this acts as a like this is a storage room so like if you want you can like get some crates and stuff and then you know, you got a storage room. Um, if you really want, you can place this here and then, you know, you can have stuff up there too. But that's pretty much what that is. It's just uh, extra storage room. So now the same thing that you just did in there, you're going to want to do, you're going to want to make sure that you upgrade these right away because otherwise you're never going to be able to upgrade them again. Um, so it's very important you get that done. And then you're just going to go ahead and you're going to finish those off. So now it should be looking something like this. So you're just going to go ahead, you're going to slap your roofs on really quickly. That shouldn't be there, my bad. So from the start of your base right here, you should be able to jump up and it looks just like this. And what you're going to want to do um, here is you're going to make sure that this is a wall and then the rest of these 
are just going to be standard doorways. And then down here you're going to do a doorway, a half wall, a doorway, and a doorway. And then that's the end of that. And now you're going to use this as a jump up to get to the next floor. And it should look something like this. So from here you're going to go ahead and you're just going to do what you do on all the other levels. You're going to go ahead and make sure right away that this is a jump up and a door frame. So that way, you know, if you don't have enough materials, you can just have this base right now until you finish. But this floor is pretty much just for storage. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to go around the entire base just like this. You're going to ignore this honeycomb right here. And you're just going to go out, line the entire base. Just like that. And then over here, you're going to go ahead. You're going to do that for your jump up. And then you're just going to um, continue to place your triangles all the way around. Then get your floors down. And then again, same as you did last time, make sure that you upgrade these right away because you'll never be able to upgrade them again afterwards. Um, so you definitely want to get those done. After that, you're going to put a wall here and then you're going to go here. We're going to have a wall right there. And then on this side, the opposite, just wall right there. Because then again, these are going to be used as storage rooms. So again, you know, you can place these here if you want and then um, you know you can have more storage it's gonna be the same thing for this side so you're gonna finish that off wall and then yeah you're just gonna gonna finish getting rid of all of this honeycomb here closing it off and then that's pretty much that floor done already um, you're just gonna obviously you're gonna place your doors here then you're gonna go up to the last level now this last level is going to be your shooting floor so we're going to do the same thing that we did last time and that we have done every single level. You're going to go ahead and you're going to finish this right away just to make your life so much easier. And then you're going to grab triangles. This part's very important. You need to go on all of the corners of the base like this. This one's always the most painful. I hate it. And you're going to you're going to place triangles like this. Go down. Perfect. So you're going to finish that side off and then on all the corners, you're going to go like that. So your top should look something like this. It should look like this on every single corner. And it looks like this on this side, but you just have this thing here. But yeah, it should look like that. And then you're going to go ahead and you're going to grab your windows and then you're just going to fill the outside of the base. Once you do that, you can go ahead, triangles. Then you can finish off your roof really quickly. And then this part, you're going to want to start right here in this corner and you're going to place a door frame there, door frame there, door frame there, and a door frame there. And then you're going to go ahead and you're going to make sure all of your doors are in. So that way you can go ahead here and use these as shoot downs or like peak downs. And then once that's done, you're pretty much done. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to go door right here, door right here, door right here, and a door right there. And then the rest of these you're just going to fill in with windows. Now you can leave this section open um, if you really want. You know, it doesn't really matter. But I like a little bit of extra protection in case someone tries to top down the base for whatever reason. It would be really stupid, but you know, some people try stuff like that. So you can go a door there, or a wall there, and then you just finish it off with doors. And then that's pretty much it. So now you've got your entire peak downs um, right here. You know, it stops people from being able to, um, you know, climb up your walls. And uh, so that's the shooting floor done. Then you go down to this floor. This floor right here is pretty much mostly for storage because you've got storage units um, on both sides here. And if you want, obviously you could do like furnaces, but there's a special spot on this base for furnaces that we're going to finish up right now. So if you go outside on the base now, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna remove this finally. And then we're going to grab our, our floors and we're gonna go on all three sides of the front door just like this. And then we're gonna fill it in with these. 
And now we just go ahead, we finish out the entire base here. Just like that, and then we can go ahead, we can do, we can do either these or um, these ones, it doesn't really matter, it's just that these don't really have as much health, so it's, it's, you know, not really ideal, so I prefer these, but um, it's really your own choice, and then obviously you've got the door here, door here, door here, and then, you know, in here you can fill it up with pretty much anything you want, but most of the time I put my mega foundries or regular furnaces in there. Now the best part about this base is that there's lots of things that you can add on to make it extra strong. So one of the things that I like to do the most is obviously you're going to want your walls. So your walls, what you're going to want, you don't want them super tight to the base, but if you do something like this, if you add like these to the outside of your bases, um, you can do three things with this. You can either A, use this as extra honeycomb and go up and it adds an extra like 8 to 10 rockets to your base to fully raid. Or what I personally love to do with these right here is that you can go ahead and you can use these as like stands to like have turrets essentially so that way you know people who break through your compound are going to have a way harder time. But obviously you are going to want to have a compound so you're going to start with this right here you're going to use you're going to use this wall and then you're just going to go out and then you're just going to surround your base and you know standard. Um, I, I don't like to go on my compound personally because it's just annoying so you keep enough room so that way your turrets can do work but for the most part you want to keep this fairly close because you're never really going to go in your compound so yeah you're going to finish up your compound just like that and then for extra defense, there's a couple things you can do. So as I showed you already, um, you've got your compound. You've got these down on the inside, so that way if someone gets in, um, that will absolutely annihilate them. But the thing that I like to do the most is to place a turret right here, just like that. Because, you know, people can shoot it down, but it adds so much more protection that people don't think about. For example, um, since you've got this here, people would be able to climb up onto your base and raid like from the middle down, which is annoying. So with that there, people can't climb up on your base without getting absolutely destroyed. But also, it adds an extra bit of security because you can access it from this door here so you can put stuff in it. And if you want, if you're online and someone is up here, you can shoot their feet from this little area. So it's super helpful. But that is the base in its entirety. So it's a pretty good base for relatively cheap and... Um, it takes roughly 20 to 40 of the good rockets. The cheapest is obviously 20, and if they try to be stupid for whatever reason, rate it top down, it's 40. So, you know, depending who's rating you, it's going to take a while, and it's going to take a lot of farming rockets. So um, it's a pretty good base for relatively cheap, so if you want to try it, then you sure can.